Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here. Today is June 15th, 2018, and it's that thing they call Father's Day. I, uh, I'm not really a big fan of Father's Day or any other holiday for the most part. I think they're mostly contrived bullshit. Uh, and I actually put a piece out this morning on Steemit that uh, I wrote a few years back, but it's never been on Steemit before, so I put it up there, you know, my feelings on the day and why I think it's unnecessary and why I feel that, you know, I, I, don't, I don't need people to tell me that, you know, say Happy Father's Day to me or, you know, even my kids, you know, my kids want to make me things sometimes and I'm like, yeah, that's, I mean, it's sweet, but not necessary because they don't owe me anything. I'm the one who has an obligation to them because I helped to bring them into this world. And, uh, you know, so I put that out this morning and then, of course, because of everything that's going on right now with the kids, not, you know, my kids not feeling well and the wife not feeling well, I'm probably actually not going to get to see them at all today. So that actually got me kind of bummed. And not because I'm not seeing them on Father's Day, but just because I'm not seeing them. So Murder Dog and I, well, we didn't have much else to do because it's a Sunday. It's a beautiful day. So we took a drive. And now we are out at uh, Oak Beach in uh, the town of Babylon, Suffolk County. Um, years ago, there used to be the uh, OBI, the Oak, Oak Beach Inn, and uh, people used to come down here and part, you know, used to be a place to party. We used to hang out here back in the day and, you know, just come here and drink at night and stuff. And, you know, now it's, uh, they've, they've made it a lot nicer. The OBI is no longer here. And, you know, I just needed to take a drive. So we came down here and, uh, we're just hanging out now, you know, uh, no dogs allowed, so murder dogs in the car, but luckily we're near uh, the water, so there's a nice breeze coming in, and she'll be all right there for a little bit. I've actually got my eye on the vehicle right now, but I figured I would just take a little video and uh, show you guys what I'm dealing with today in my loneliness, but this is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is down at Oak Beach, you know, it's very nice, there's a lot of people hanging out here, see some boats out on the water, it does make me miss my, uh, my, my jet ski, or wave runner actually, sorry, I, I used to have a wave runner until, uh, well, until I let a friend take it to the repair shop for me one day, and on his way to the repair shop, he managed to get T-boned, and my wave runner was no more. Uh, <laughs> That's okay, that was years ago. I, I think I've forgiven him for that by the, at this point. Uh, Levy, if you happen to watch this, man, I, I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, long past, I'm over it. Anyway, so yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's beautiful out here. Wish I could, uh, wish I could be hanging out with the kids, but, you know, what are you gonna do? actually more concerned that now that it's Sunday we're only a couple of days away from when we're supposed to leave for the Midwest Peace of Liberty Fest and the wife said that this morning my one daughter sounded even worse and the wife is she's not feeling she, you know she's feeling even worse too so I don't know you know uh, I, I, I still plan on going to the Midwest Peace of Liberty Fest uh, it's gonna kill me if my kids can't come I did really want the wife to come this year, you know, despite all of our issues, I, I really wanted the, the family to go, and uh, I think it's, you know, like I, I think I said in yesterday's vlog, I think it's almost necessary at this point for us to uh, get away as a family together and spend some time together and away from the, you know, the bullshit that we have to deal here with in New York. So if they can't go, it's going to really suck, and, uh, you know, I'm kind of torn at this point because I obviously want to be with them. And, uh, you know, I complained for over a week that they were gone and I didn't get to see them. And now, you know, I may end up getting separated from, the, from them again if they're not well enough to go. But, you know, like I said, I'm torn because I, I made the decision to go back to the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest the second we left last year's fest. I even told the kids that. You know, I, I purchased tickets as soon as they put them on sale with, uh, for, with, you know, when you can pay with crypto. As soon as they hooked that up, I, I bought them that day. So I've had these tickets for months. This was planned for, you know, officially planned for months. And, uh, you 
no. I, I really need to get the hell out of here. I really need to be around my Ann fam for a while. And of course, there's the uh, the trip afterwards on the way back home to stop to see Ben Stone, and that has to happen too. So, without that, I'll uh, I'll be really bummed. So, I definitely uh, definitely think I need to go, and you know, just hoping the ki the kids and wife can make it with me because I think I got to do it regardless. And uh, yeah, it just needs to happen. <laughs> I, uh, I need to be out in New York for a little bit, and, you know, it's coming soon, so hopefully they'll feel better. I mean, two years ago, the girls missed it because one of them broke their foot and the other one got sick day of. Now, of course, one of them's pretty sick a few days beforehand, and the other one will likely get sick at some point because, well, they're twins, they're on top of each other all the time, and that's just what happens with kids. And, uh, you know, I'm, just, I'm upset because the chance the, there's a really high chance that they actually caught whatever they currently have while they were on their last vacation which as I've discussed I didn't want them to go on and that caused the whole big problem and now it's you know now unfortunately my trip which was planned out well in advance um, is now in jeopardy or at least with them so yeah so I'm feeling a little sad today but I'm trying to make the best out of this beautiful day and just enjoy the weather down here and do some thinking uh, I have also actually gotten around to editing and proofreading my buddy uh, Shane Radliff's book. I'm almost done with it, so Shane, when you watch this, I will hopefully have that completed to you for you before I get to the fest. If not, I'll actually transfer the copy to you once I get to the fest. But either way, we should have it before the end of the fest. I'm about uh, two-thirds of the way through. Um, and on that, I mean... Hey, I, I really appreciate the fact that you considered me worthy of uh, checking your stuff out before you put it out there to the world. I don't know what help I can be. My, uh, I do like to write. I've always been told that I was a good writer, but I usually go to other people to ed edit and proofread my stuff because, you know, I don't have that fancy book learning. <laughs> Um, but I do appreciate it, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, while I'm trying to uh, edit and proofread it, I'm, I'm enjoying the reading the reading the book itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll probably end up finishing that tonight, uh, maybe tomorrow. Like I said, I'm about two thirds of the way through. But so yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to shoot this short video while I was out here, and uh, hopefully I'll get it up tomorrow. Um, I would put it up today, but as I've said before, I don't like to. I don't like to overload Steam It. I know some people post like constantly on there. My thing is I usually once or twice, you know, twice a day is usually what I like to do. Three at the absolute most, and that's only if I have a bunch of stuff going on and some podcasts to put out. So, so yeah, this will probably come out tomorrow. Or heck, even maybe the next day because, oh, that's right, tomorrow's Monday. The Season of Liberty is supposed to come out. Oh, man, I got work to do. Crud. <laughs> Guess that means I got to go find some Wi-Fi for some uploading. But anyway, so... I will, uh, I'll leave you guys with another shot of, uh, this beautiful, uh, location, and, uh, I'll check in with you later. Abolitionist J, almost out. Oh, uh, and there's some wave runners or jet skis right there. Ah, uh, the memories. Catch you guys later, y'all. Peace.